Okay guys, several people have asked me how do I glue my puzzles, so it's pretty simple. Um, first off, you gotta get some puzzle glue. Um, I like to use Elmer's puzzle glue. It's just a preference. You can use whatever you want. Uh, most of them will come with some kind of a spatula or stick in them. First thing I do is put something on a flat surface. You also wanna make sure that you have paper underneath it. And you're gonna, I'm gonna do both sides. The fr front side I'm gonna do completely full. The back side I'm gonna do a little pattern too, which I'll show you later. But you wanna do the front side first because any of the cracks that may have holes in them, the glue will seep through and possibly get through and stick to whatever's underneath. So you wanna make sure you have some paper underneath it. Also make sure you run around the edges and through the whole puzzle, just to make sure everything is down nice and neat so you don't have any loose edges. And then you wanna start around the edge. I start around the edges. I go around all four edges and then I go through and make sure I get it all the way through um, every single crack, then I come horizontally and I go vertically. So um, this is how I do it. After that, I like to go straight down the middle of the puzzle and make sure I concentrate on doing half of it and then come back and do the other half and that way you don't miss any of it. You can also, you wanna make sure you don't have any puddles of glue sitting around, so you wanna make sure you do it pretty well. And after I do the edges, I also like to move the puzzle in case I got some on the paper, which I did up here. So I like to pull that away so that way it doesn't uh, stick up there. And I got a little extra there we're gonna try to pull off. But if you get it on the edges, you wanna pull your paper out just a little bit or move the puzzle on the paper. So that way it keeps, it helps it not to stick. And then again, if you don't, if you have any puzzles on there, you wanna make sure you move them away too. You don't want any extra puzzles. You can also pick up the extra glue and put it back in here and it will be just fine. Okay, now when you're done, you're gonna want to make sure you have no puddles. Now you're gonna see some streaks, and that's okay because that's gonna dry clear. And if you're afraid that you got too much, or just pick it up, put it back in the bottle, not a big deal. But what you're gonna do now is after you're done, 
You wanna step back and look into the light and make sure everything's coated. You don't have any dry spots whatsoever. And like I have one right there that I missed. So just kind of use your eyes around the light to make sure you get it. And then I'm gonna to try to go long ways across the puzzle and then up and down across the puzzle and go down each and every row to kind of make it more uniform. And that'll help get rid of any access, excess uh, glue that we have as well as um, make it just for a nice uh, uniform coating. And that's it guys. So what I do when I do that technique is I go down the cracks and I come back up the center of the piece and I go down, up and down each and every piece um, from going down, like I said, where the, where the joints are, where the cracks are, come back up to the center and back down the other joints. Do that across the whole thing. Also don't push too hard on these. These kind of applicators here that have a uh, stick attached, you can break those pretty easily. So if you do, then you gotta hold it by hand. So try not to do that. The directions call for approximately a one hour dry time. I like to let it go a little bit longer than that. And whatever you do, make sure you come back in and it needs to be 100% completely dry before you flip it over and do the other side. So you wanna make sure you test it with your hand to make sure there's no wet spots. You can look in the light too and see if you can see any, but it needs to be completely dry before we move on to the next step. Okay, once the front is fully dry, you can kind of look over it and make sure, and if not, if you're not sure, just kind of run your hand over it and see if there's any wet spots anymore. It doesn't appear to be so. So we're gonna pick it up like this. Make sure you pull the cardboard out from underneath it. This is what we were talking about, that it would stick. That's the reason why we do the backs or the front side first. So in the event that that happens, it doesn't deface the front. We're gonna flip it over. Now on the back, I don't do the entire back. We just do the outline here. I do about three puzzle pieces in. And then I also do a cross down the middle about three wide just to stiffen it up. This is good enough. It's stuck together, but I like it a little more. The reason why we do the front first is because now that it's sealed, nothing will seep through these spots and get to the other side defacing it. So we're going to go again down the sides and then across in the middle.
Okay guys, so that's it. You wanna make sure that you move the puzzle again so that there's no glue on any of the edges around the paper like this right here. So we're gonna move it this way. And that's that. Wait for this to dry for about an hour again and to the touch, make sure that there's no, uh, no puddles around. And then when it's dry to the touch, you are completed.